hello and welcome friends so in previous video we have seen how to get all the product details on the front end now in this video we are going to see how to create a product like how to add a product in the database so uh, i have created a link on this button and click on this button we will redirect to the product operation page so uh, let me click on that uh, yeah so here we are able to see the product page where we can add the product and on click on add uh, it will uh, uh, give me the like uh, message as the record has been inserted so category okay, as the IP and this one is IHH20 and 25 this one add product and it will add in the database and it will give me the message So as you can see the record has been inserted successfully and the, the uh, data which we have added here is this one IP IS 20 and this is the amount uh, like rate stock in stock is uh, currently it will be the zero so now come to the how we have achieved it uh, so like to insert a record in the database we need to add uh, this one function inside our product model so in the coding data we know need to do all this stuff like insert in table and uh, we need uh, we know need to take uh, the, uh, we know need to look about the what is the database on the back end we are using so we just need to call the function of the coding data as the db insert product as the form array so form array will be have the mapping like uh, what are the fields and how to map with the database column so come to the next part now first we look into the users pay users account p dot php file so in that uh, uh, like we have created a link href link and in that uh, we are calling this one index dot php product ops and create function so it will check in the controller product ops and uh, the create uh, and create function so just go inside there so in create function what we have done we will check the first is the user is logged in if user is logged in so we will perform perform this operation so we'll set the user id in the session logged in user id and uh, then we'll set the rule like uh, this these are the coding neutral level validation so these fields are required like uh, this is this is the uh, required uh, columns which we need to insert data inside the database and uh, if the validation is equal to false then we'll route it to the create page or if it is the like uh, if it is true then uh, we are gonna perform the database operation so in the form array we need to pass each and every column which we have specified in the database like form p code equals to this is the p code which is the coming from the form and same as the p category so these are the column which i have configured out the database as you can see p code p category p party p rate like this we need to specify here also in our code so this should be the same otherwise we'll get some error like column is not found or something like that so just pass here added by user the first time logged in user okay this is the extra column which we can say something log purpose like which user has added and at what time the product got added on the database and then we'll load the model and we'll call the create function if the this is like success then we are going to set the flash data uh, on the success on this uh, like we are going to set uh, the flash data on the session and as the record inserted successfully and if this everything is okay then we'll route to the user slash account so what user slash account do users it will go inside the users and it will call the account page account page again it will check the user logged in and it will load all the product data and it will redirect me to again to user slash account page that's why we are going to see, we are again seeing this page and on that page we have set up this success message so we are able to see our message inside this box this one okay so like this uh, we are able to create 
the product inside the database so i hope well, you got all the idea and uh, this is one create page so we need a create page uh, so let me show you that also so how oh, mm, this is the product tops so if the validation if the validation is false so we are gonna route it to the user slash create page so user slash create view sorry user slash create view so this is the view which we have created and in the view we have called all the input type and uh, what are the required fields as the category party and all and uh, on the submit of that on submit of that uh, we add product okay so if the user click on the cancel button so it will call the account page if a user uh, click on the add button as it is a submit button so it will call the uh, form level submit method so we have here this one create product and inside index ph uh, prod ops create so it will again go to the create product ops and it will call the create function and it will check all the mandatory field and it will just uh, do the database operation so i hope uh, you got idea about this how to add the database how to add the product inside the database with this uh, feature okay so in next video we will see how to edit and uh, delete operation uh, in database so thank you so much guys